The rise of 400G is changing the data center landscape. Data center operators driven by cloud computing, IoT, and more are accelerating the broader adoption of 100G to 400G. Today, I have with me Rugved Bitkar to discuss the rising trend in data centers across all theaters and market segments, with some a little more aggressive than others. Rugved, it's nice to have you on the call with me. Thank you, Arun. Such a pleasure to be here. So, Rugved, as I mentioned, uh, we are seeing growing adoption of 400G in the data centers. What are some of the motivations behind the 100G to 400G transition? Absolutely. So we have seen a significant uptick in the data center traffic due to a few trends. Uh, first, uh, enterprises are moving their on-prem services onto cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a significant uh, amount of application traffic uh, or app to app traffic in data centers. Uh, and the app services are also being broken down into microservices. They are geographically distributed or even sitting on uh, different clouds. Another trend we've seen is, you know, multiple new devices are connecting to the internet, uh, for example, uh, IoT devices. And this uh, uptick in network traffic is putting a huge strain on the uh, data center or cloud infrastructure, uh -huh. which is predominantly 40 gig and 100 gig uh, today. And that's why more and more data center operators are, you know, waking up to the idea of moving to 400 gig products uh, to compensate for that. Um, not just that, uh, there are there are also some physical and mechanical advantages of moving to 400 gig products. Mm -hmm. uh, with 400 gig uh, as a choice of interface, you can get the same, uh, same form factor, but you can get four times uh, the throughput as a 100 gig port. Mm -hmm. And with the innovations in uh, the power efficiency of 400 gig optics, the cost per bit uh, has gone significantly down. So like, wait, that makes sense what you talked about the, the motivations behind uh, the transition. But can you also throw some light on the use cases for 400G deployments in the data centers? Absolutely. So apart from the uh, physical and mechanical advantages of 400 gig that we just talked about, the need for 400 gig really arises from the speed of innovation that we see in uh, tech today. So 400 gig as a choice of interface is quite uh, well suited for applications in uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning, healthcare, or even FinTech that demand a high throughput, low latency, lossless or near lossless performance. Mm -hmm. If we talk about positioning a 400 gig platform just in terms of like, uh, you know, their, pos their position in the network space or network infrastructure, they're very well suited for uh, the spine or super spine uh, layer where the requirement is fast switching or even a border leaf uh, where you need that feature richness uh, uh, or have a nice demarcation with your network boundary. So can you talk about uh, the Juniper 400G data center product portfolio that support these, uh, these use cases that we just discussed? Sure, we have a robust portfolio uh, in the QFX product line. The first uh, I wanna highlight is the 50 to 20 product line, which is optimized for fast switching. And we also have the 5130 product line, uh, which is optimized to host a rich uh, feature set uh, to support some of the applications uh, that we just talked about. Uh, I also want to really highlight uh, the newest member of the QFX family, which is the 5700 product line. Uh, what's unique to this uh, platform is that it is the first uh, single PFE uh, uh, vertical slot QFX chassis that supports uh, speeds from uh, you know 10 gig all the way up to 400 gig with a unidirectional throughput of 12.8 uh, TBPS. This platform is also optimized uh, to host a uh, number of fabric options, uh, especially EVP and VXLAN, and also storage and timing features, uh, which we are seeing a great uh, you know growing adoption uh, these days. So what's special about the software running on these platforms? That's a great question. So the software that's built into these platforms is an Evolved, uh, a newer version of Juno's, uh, rightfully named Juno's Evolved. 
And with this software, we are targeting uh, some of the major challenges faced by data center operators. Challenges like uh, ease of upgrade, ease of uh, fault isolation, maintaining a minimum downtime, uh, ability to pull various uh, statistics and analytics uh, via telemetry, just to make intelligent decisions uh, in day-to-day -day network operations. And this is all uh, possible because of the componentized nature of Juno's Evolved. And we are very excited to roll it out on some of the newer QFX series platforms. Um, our platforms will also be integrated into uh, Appstra, which is our network management and automation offering. Ragwe, thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Arun. It was great to share some of the exciting things we are doing at uh, in the data center space at Juniper. Great. Thank you. And thank you to all our viewers.